Hi everyone, this is Miss Lily. Today we are going to draw a simplified color pencil version of the Cafe Terrace at Night by Vincent Van Gogh. This project is designed for beginners to all levels, as long as you listen and watch through all the steps and draw patiently with me, I guarantee that everyone will have great results. He stated that to him the night is richer in color than the day. That is why that more than half of this painting is done with warm, bright colors. You need paper, pencil, ruler, color pencils, and a heart full of courage and patience to follow through the steps. If you ever feel confused or doubtful, I'd encourage you to just keep going. The only part of the tutorial that I suggest you guys to stick to my drawing is step one. After step one, you guys can go ahead and make your own twist. I just hope that everybody can have fun and let's go! Step one, rough draft. Use a ruler to draw a frame about an inch away from all four sides of the paper. Draw a small vertical line at the center of the paper. To the left of that line, continue to form a rectangular box with a slanted top higher on the left. This is the far side wall of the cafe. On the top and bottom of this wall, we are going to draw a ceiling canopy and the patio floor. Keep the ceiling canopy slanted while the floor is straight horizontal. Right below the patio, there is a small step. Notice how all of these lines point toward the center of the wall? This point is called a vanishing point. Since there is only one vanishing point in this drawing today, we are drawing in a one point perspective drawing. And it's okay if you made a mistake so far, especially if one point perspective is a new concept for you. Let's continue to draw the door frame right in front of us. Do this in perspective and show its depth. On the top of the canopy, we draw a couple buildings. To the right of the cafe here, we draw a rectangular shape to represent a building far off into the street. For the buildings on the right, we lightly draw a large block of building. Then we divide it into more buildings that line up to form a street. Erase the parts of the lines that you do not need anymore. Step 2. Details. Let's add some chimneys and windows onto the buildings. For this part, I leave it up to you to decide how many chimneys and windows you like to include as well as their location. Add some details onto the canopy. Add a couple windows for the cafe. Let's draw our first table and chair in front of the patio. An oval for the tabletop, an upside down rainbow right below it, followed by a curved line in the middle. Complete the table with three legs. For the chair, start with a flat diamond shape for the seat, then the backrest, and then finally the legs. Add more tables and chairs anywhere you like on the cafe patio and maybe some closer into the street. Alright, pop quiz. Does things appear larger or smaller if they are farther away from us? Hmm, I wonder what the answer is. Let's draw the people. First, draw this person's shadow creeping in right here at one of the entrances. For the rest of the people, I draw a simple circle for their head and a triangular bodies.
add some loopity loops that lined up along the side of the canopy. It's like drawing a bunch of number six. Step three, yellow. Do not press too hard because we are going to mix in some other color onto the yellow later. All right, pretty straightforward. Grab your yellow and go wee. Color the windows. Add some stars. For the yellow color on the ground, go much lighter and color it with lines following the direction going into the vanishing point and into the street. Step 4. Orange. Start by adding a few outline within the cafe. Then color orange onto some areas of the cafe patio, canopy, entrances, and the wall. This time you will want to color it so that we see the strokes of lines going toward the same direction. Again, don't press too hard. Step 5. Green. Outline the chair legs with green. Then add vertical lines along the front side of the patio and the steps to show wooden panels. Add green onto some more areas on the cafe building. Again, you like to show the line strokes. Some parts appear to be more green than others, but you can kind of reform this part. Doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine. Step 6. People, table, and chairs. For this part, you can freestyle any color you like. You can always feel free to follow me as well. So I use a golden yellow color for the chair seats and the backrest. Light blue for the tabletops. Pick any color clothes you like them to wear. The people standing on the street get a yellow reflection light from the cafe, while their shadow sides are green. Black outline for the tables. Don't forget this black shadow that is creeping in right here. Step 7. Blue. Around each stars, I color light blue super lightly around it in a circle, purposely leaving some white gaps to help show the star's glowing effect. Then I color the rest of the sky evenly. Color those wooden windows on the second floor above our cafe. Color some parts of the building as well as the door frame in the front.
use dark blue or purplish blue to darken the sky a bit more. Make part of the buildings a little bit darker too. Then use it to outline some details on the buildings. Step 8. Black. Outline the buildings and color the alleyways dark. Color mainly the upper part of the buildings darker, but careful not to cover all of the previous blues from earlier. Color this front door and parts of its frame. Step 9 Finalization! Yahoo! Add red window dividers on the door and the front, and then add more detail outlines on the windows and the roof bar above the canopy. Take out all the different colors we have used so far, all right, and then add them onto the floor. There are basically two steps here for, for the floor. One is to lightly color the floors in the same line stroke going um, toward the vanishing point, toward, toward the end of the street. And the second is to add short curves on the ground. Um, you can think of it like pebbles on the ground or like the stone pavements on the ground. Finally, add little tree peeking out from the right side. Hello! Woohoo! Good job everybody! You can add your own element and change things up a bit. See where else you need to add or subtract. And thank you so much to those of you who's been sending me pictures of your drawing. Let me know what else you guys would like to draw, like anything else from Van Gogh. I know I've been doing a lot of that. I've actually been thinking about Monet. Like, should we do a color pencil version of Monet's art? Should we? 